So our call here for U.S. equities specifically for the remainder of 2024 is still that we're likely to see some sort of a uh, year-end rally, um, call it a Santa Claus rally. And a lot of that is embedded in the fact that we still have a strong economy, um, obviously data dependent here based on what happens, we'll have to adjust. A situation where structurally, and I, I call this structural analysis, lots of fund managers as usual are underperforming their benchmarks. So they have to kind of chase in the year end. As a portfolio manager, I have to be open-minded to the potential of the complete opposite outcome. Maybe we see a December to remember. What does that mean? So I brought along a chart of the US dollar, which is the, the chart at the top here. And you can see we've had a really, really strong move in the US dollar. And remember the US dollar index, which is what this is, is largely uh, uh, weighted versus the euro and versus the yen. And certainly versus the euro, we've seen a very strong rally due to uh, economic, uh, economically weakening uh, Europe. In fact, just here this morning as I'm recording this, once again seeing concerningly weak data out of Germany. Um, but what's also interesting is that historically speaking, when the dollar has had strong moves like this, the equity market doesn't have to fall apart, but it typically gets more volatile and choppier. And so I just want to put this on people's radar as something to watch that if this dollar strength continues as it is, or even if it stays where it's at, the likelihood of the equity market becoming more volatile here in December, I think goes up exponentially, which could then completely throw off the year end rally call. And we would then have much more, again, volatility. And so that could be very frustrating for people that are kind of putting all their eggs in that year-end rally basket. So whether we see a December to remember, meaning one that's more volatile and not the typical sort of Santa Claus rally, I think is going to depend on what the dollar does here for the rest of the year.